Hey guys, Vladimir here with Desktop Megs. I wanted to do a quick tip video today showing you a really neat feature in Fusion 360 that you're gonna find will really come in handy um, as you're designing those uh, Christmas ornaments. So here's an example. I have this uh, Benchy model I created. Now, obviously not my Benchy model. I didn't design the original Benchy, but I did show um, my approach in designing it with Fusion 360, sort of a little modified version. And uh, if you were in my last uh, live design session, you got to see that. And I also include that lesson as a bonus in my Fusion 360 uh, Design Academy course. But in this video, I wanna show you, you see how I can hold this up and it hangs perfectly level? You know, that's uh, that's something that can you, you'll find, you may design an ornament and then try to hang it by a string and you'll see like it hangs like this or like this or like this. Um, it can be a pain to try to get it right. But Fusion 360 has a really neat feature that allows you to find that center of mass. And so I wanted to um, show you today how I was able to find it and then create a hole right there. Um, and I ended up putting a little eye hook here, uh, but you don't have to. You could just simply tie that in directly. But the point is you'll be able to get something to hang per perfectly level by just taking advantage of this feature. So let's jump into Fusion and I'll show you how to use it. All right, I've got my Benchy model here and to find the center of mass is actually really simple. All you do is you go up to inspect, down to center of mass, I'm gonna click on my body and then select okay. And you'll see you'll get this little symbol right here. And if you don't see it, make sure it's turned on here. It's gonna um, be right under your analysis folder. So you'll have a new folder there called analysis and under that you'll see center of mass. You can toggle that on or off. So make sure they're both toggled on and then you'll be able to see it. And so that shows you exactly where the center of mass is. And the way I was able to use this is uh, I went to a top down view and I'm just gonna create a sketch on this top surface here. All right, let me untoggle bodies there so we can see that uh, center of mass option there. Um, for some reason, um, I don't know why, in this case I have to turn on sketch one for it to show if I untoggle the visibility of sketch one, um, it's not there. Um, so just in case you may have the same issue. Um, all I want to do is just reference it to draw a center diameter circle there. So I'm going to go to circle, center diameter circle. Um, go ahead and just create a circle right next to that center of mass. I'm going to give it a diameter here of two millimeters. You can see this is not constrained so I can move it around. Um, so really the best way um, that I can see to approach this is I'm gonna set a uh, horizontal constraint between the circle and my origin here. And now I can move it in place. So I can move it anywhere except up and down because I sent that constraint. And so you'll wanna zoom in as close as you can here. This is gonna give you your you know, best uh, uh, accuracy here so I can just move it right into place and then once I get it exactly where I want and we'll zoom back out I'll click on D for dimension click on the circle and then click on my center origin here and then I'm just gonna click to place that dimension and then I'm just gonna hit enter and what that's going to do is it'll just lock that in place all right now I can hit finish sketch bring the body back into view and that sketch so I'll turn that visibility on and now all I have to do is just extrude this. So E for extrude, I'm gonna select that circle. And since for this one, I'm just gonna put in that screw in that little eye hook. I'm gonna click okay here um, to extrude that three millimeters down. And just using calipers, I was able to measure this. That's how I know that I want that to be two millimeters. Um, so, okay, now I can just simply screw that in, you know, um, and it's gonna hang perfectly. And this works really well. You'll find that you put that in, you hang it by a string. It, uh, it will go ahead and hang perfectly level. So rather than trying to you know do multiple prints and guess where that center is, um, this is a really quick way to just find the center of mass and quickly, uh, and you know, it doesn't apply, have to apply to just ornaments. It can be any sort of sign maybe you're hanging or maybe a figurine that you're making. Um, you'll find that this will really come in handy. 
All right, guys, that's it for today. I want to keep this one short and sweet. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. If you did find this useful, also let me know. It helps me to gauge what type of content I should be creating. Oh, and I finally created a Patreon page. So some of you have been asking me of how you can support my channel. Um, so here's one additional way. Um, I have the link down below to my Patreon page. So if you're interested in supporting the work I do here and creating these videos for you, um, take a look at the link down below to my Patreon page. All right, guys, I'll see you in a few.